Sundays is a project I've been working on for the past five years. It started out as a, as a short movie, an idea for a short movie, and then it gradually grew into this huge, epic, full-length feature right now. So, so this film is about a young man uh, on his uh, uh, search for uh, truth. And uh, basically everything he's ever known or, or think he's experienced uh, uh, turns out to be uh, a lie. What's, what's going to be really fascinating is that, that the, the majority of the story of the film is going to take place 50,000 years into the future, uh, which sounds uh, far away, but it isn't, because it's basically a copy of, of the world as we know it now, and we place it into the future. Uh, now the fun part begins, like in every copy, there's tiny mistakes, and tiny mistakes grow bigger over time. So after 50,000 years, we have sometimes, you know, really grotesque looking environments uh, or even social behavior. Um, there's a lot of uh, visual stunningness that we can create from a, a premise just like that. For us, it's, it's exciting to see what happens when Misha is unleashed, when, you know, the person that's deciding how far to push it is him and not the client. Yeah, we've been, uh, we've managed to, uh, you know, pull this off. Uh, only recently uh, through raising the money or bits of the money through Kickstarter. And then when we got the money, actually it was quite fast that we started producing this. Uh, I, I loved uh, the project from the get-go. It was you know, really interesting and really exciting and we started talking over Skype and you know, just kicked off from there. So finally we're here to, to shoot the movie Sundays. So we're using Mexico as a base and we've got to add a lot and a lot, a lot of special effects. For the post-production we're using a lot of different programs. Adobe Creative Cloud is definitely an important player. Um, for instance, Premiere is able to read the red files natively, so for us it's really easy to do you know, quick gradings during editing, go back and forth between After Effects. And then of course Photoshop, uh, definitely Misha's main weapon of choice if it comes to concept art. The story is very fragmented, it jumps over very much back and forth in time and the scenes are not very connected yet. So it's a bit of a challenge to understand every layer of the character and where he is at a certain time. In. Well this is a short, it's also a trailer for the feature. but. Uh, it needs to work as a short, all by itself. I really like that Misha had like everything totally planned. That was amazing. I mean, from the moment I saw the video, I just like I was like surprised, you know, how he knew exactly what he wanted to do. When we actually met him, he like told us like shot by shot. He explained how everything was going to be, and that was the way we, we shot it. Uh, the next step is for the part for the project is we once we've, we've done the shoot. We go into post-production and there's a lot of post-production uh, in this film, there's a lot involved and uh, I cannot wait, that, that's, that's actually, you know, this is the fun part but that's also really the fun part because you, now you get to really mold the film into the direction where you want it to happen visually and uh, so that's very exciting and, and uh, there's a lot of people uh, are going to help us out, uh, all with, uh, with the good heart. And uh, when it's actually done, it should actually hit, uh, pretty much explode. That's what I'm, what I'm hoping is going to happen.
Thank <laughs> you.